Today's video is about isotopes. And isotopes are atoms of the same element with different number of neutrons. Okay, and that's the definition you need to be um, familiar with that and know the definition of isotope. And let's look at an example of hydrogen. Now hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, and hydrogen 3 are all isotopes of hydrogen. Now, the example here shows you that you can also write the element name with the mass number. And that's how we refer to it a lot. A lot of times you'll see, um, you know, hydrogen 1 means that hydrogen has a mass of 1. Hydrogen 2 means that hydrogen has a mass of 2. So you can see it as carbon 12, nitrogen 14. So be familiar with how that's written because you will need to be able to know that and identify that. Now look at hydrogen 1. It has one proton, no neutrons. Hydrogen 2 has one proton, one neutron. Since we added a neutron, that's why the increase in mass. Hydrogen 3, one proton, two neutrons, and that's why, since we have two neutrons, that's increased the mass again. Now, each one of these have a natural abundance. So in the universe, 99.9% .9 of our hydrogen is the hydrogen 1 isotope. Hydrogen 2 has an abundance of 0.01%, so one, um, one one-hundredth of a percent. Hydrogen 3 is found so little we can't even detect it, okay? So since hydrogen 1 was 99.9% .9 abundant in the universe, that is our most common isotope. And so since it's our most common isotope, that the mass of hydrogen that we find on our periodic table is closer to 1 than 2 or 3. Now, the way we do that and the way they determine the masses, the most common isotope is placed on the periodic table, but the masses of all isotopes are averaged together. Now, the percentage of how abundant they are is calculated into that average. So it's not like you just add 1, 2, 3, divide it by 3. They do attribute, since you have more hydrogen 1, that one mass of 1 is weighted heavier than the mass of 2 and 3. Okay. Now, this average of masses is called the average atomic mass. It is the same number that's underneath the element symbol. We just use the symbol U. Now, this is the weighted average mass of the isotopes of that element, and this is the reason the atomic mass is not a whole number. It's because it's an average, and that's why we have decimal places. Now, I don't want you to be confused about this, so make sure you understand. The average atomic mass equals the mass number, which also equals the mass. So I want you to write this example down on your notes. This is something you have to have in your notes to make sure you remember. Let's do an example of carbon. Okay, so write down carbon and write down that carbon's average atomic mass equals 12U. Carbon's average atomic mass equals 12U. Carbon's mass number equals 12. Since it's just a number, there's actually no unit. It's just 12. Carbon's mass equals 12 grams. So each one of these things is the exact same number, the number on the bottom of the element symbol, but they have different units depending on what has been asked. Okay? Now, for your summary, this ends our video, and for your summary, I want you to tell me, how do we come up with the mass that is on our periodic table for each element? I hope you have a great evening, and I'll see you in class.